Welcome back to the Tour de France game on PlayStation 4. And today we're going to continue with stage 18, going from Mirbel to La roche sur foron including five categorized climbs, including Comet de Rosalon, Col des Saisies, Col des Aravis, finally also the Glière Plateau, which has a gravel section on top, and then another small one after it, but nothing too big at the end there. But what a stage. As a short recap, it's been six months, I think, since the last episode, so we can use that. We've lost a jersey on the last stage on Mirabel Côte de la Loz, where Full Sang gained a total of 30 ish seconds on us, making sure we are 25 seconds behind in GC on him. The rest of the competition is basically gone. Bernal on 430, Roglic on 615, Pino on 816, and the rest is basically not really important anymore. So, uh, absolute mayhem in GC, huge gaps, but the gap between 1 and 2 is still manageable. And I think we're still in the best position here. I think we've got a time trial while Full Sang does not have an ideal one. He had one good time trial in real life in the last year and a half, which was that one in, I think, Andalusia in 2020. But my mind could be blanking here. And Avonapool has been uh, quite extreme at those before his injury. So we should be relatively fine. Although a disclaimer that I have not played this game since the last time we played it. And if I recall correctly, I was pretty bad at descending already. So... Let's imagine how that will look after six months of not playing the game. Same thing with time trial. I don't remember how time trials work. So I think I'm going to have to do one off camera before I get to the uh, next stage. Because otherwise it's not going to look too fine on La Planche Belfi eventually. But for now, we're going to look at this stage. We're going to try and survive. We're going to try and survive the descents mostly. Because I think we can follow on the uphills. The climbs are pretty big. But I think they're manageable for our strength. So let's try and follow Full saying. Let's try and keep track of him. Let's try and uh, keep the gap relatively the same to go into the time trial on stage 20. Before we get started, let's take a look if I can actually get into the rider menu. Is that... Yeah, it's that button. So, let's take a look where every rider is. I think that I'd love to send someone in the breakaway, some satellite riders for this stage, because we're gonna need it. And I don't think they're going to survive every single climb. It's about to happen. The intermediate sprint of his life, Sam Bennett, 2.2 kilometers. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sprint at around one kilometer. I think that's the meta of this game, but I don't remember, so I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? On paper, there's no one here that should care. Trent is not in the group, so that should not be too much uh, of a problem. Let's try and go around 1k to go. I'm gonna check if I can try and make it a slow sprint first of all, because nobody else seems to be going for it. But I'm actually gonna try. Oh god, Valgren, Valgren! No, 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 no! Come on! Bike troll! Fuck! Valgren beat me! Ah, oh, come on! I didn't see him coming! Why would he care? It doesn't make sense! Ah, oh, man. That just kind of sad, isn't it? Oh, we're about to lose our last route at the front of the race. Homeboy Cataneo dropping with Pogacar from the break, where Yates is setting up a, a huge tempo, so we ain't able to follow that, that's for sure. And we're still pretty far from the top, so this isn't looking too bright for him. It looks like we're going to be dropping back to the uh, elite group, most likely, on this Cormel Rosalon, which means that our entire satellite rider plan was not looking too, uh, too great. And there is Cataneo. He's in the group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him protect Avonapool now so I can get to the top of this climb without spending too much energy because I feel like I'm spending a lot on this climb. But I kind of don't need to not do that because well we've got a feeding zone after this so it's not that big of a deal actually and we've got a feeding zone which means that we're gonna get our blue gel and red gel back perfect trying not to spend any energy on this section before we get to the actual climb but it's not that long of a climb actually so i should definitely not drop from the group right now that's not ideal why are they pacing that hard what are they doing come on even pool remco hang on Use the draft. Come on, Cataneo. You're of help now, now that you're in the peloton. Let's try and hang on towards the top of the Col des RV. Trying to, like, not spend as much energy as these people are because that's just insane what they're doing. Although on paper, we've got a descend off to why it's not that steep of a descent, so I can't recover too much, I think. But just want to make sure I'm following the group because <laughs> it doesn't look like we are at the moment. That's also so typical for this game, like... Bursts of pacing and then suddenly they don't pace anymore and we're back in the group and then suddenly they start pacing again with someone. Like right now, hammering it on a certain section and by the time that guy is done, then it's going to be a, 
no pacing again. It's it's so weird. It's so, so weird. It's like, yeah, it's like AI you know, doesn't know what to do at some points. Okay, it's about to happen. Plateau de Glier, last 40 kilometers of stage 18 of the tour. This is very steep, 11% sections. And uh, we gotta watch out that we don't go all out because we've got a section at the top that is going to absolutely destroy me if I do that. Because we've got gravel on top. Ooh, that corner was uh, ruining me a bit. Let's try and follow Molima here. And let's try and pace past people because full sank seems to be blocked a tiny bit. Six kilometers only. Can I hammer it from the bottom? Oh, I kind of want to. But he's got teammates though. Ah, uh, let's try it anyway. Full sang, what is he going to do? I'm gonna try and see if I can push it a tiny bit. It's not trying to go too hard. Can I look back? Is Aguirre trying to bring us back? Let's try and keep this tempo for now. 4.3 kilometers. Come on. Remco, you can do it, man. Is Aguirre following? So is the rest of the group. I'm actually going to lower the tempo again. And Bargill's going on the attack. Go do as well. I don't care about those two. In this race, at least. Thomas on the right. Full Sang on the left. Let's watch out. Looks like Full Sang only cares about me here because he's allowing everybody to ride away. Can I get past Dan Martin without getting too hurt? Let's try and go. Let's try and go here. Let's see if he responds. And Full Sang is not directly responding. 3.2k till the top. Gotta watch out. Don't want to go too fast either. Let's look behind. Full Sang's not actually pushing too hard there. Let's try and bridge up to this group for now. Let's try and go on the offensive for now. We're behind in GC, so we're uh, needing to do so. Izagiri won't be pacing here because, well, his leader is behind. And we're going to try and get away from this group as well. With 2.5k till the top on Plateau de Glier. I might actually be able to save my blue gel on here. If I play it right. And it looks like Full Sang's group is catching up again. Yes, is Aguirre still monster domestique in this group for him? Ah, oh. and we're topping Plateau de Glier. A bit of blue left. I'm going to let those three ride away. And I'm going to see what happens on this uh, gravel section. If the gravel sections on this game are anything like the PCM game, then they don't do anything. Lopez is back here as well. My god. It's like nothing happened. Tom Dumoulin is still here. Full Sang at the back of the group, still uh, chilling, so... We're not doing too much damage. Let's try again on the last kilometer today, that small pinch in the last two kilometers, and hope that we can get rid of our man here, because we've still got our blue gel. I'm saving it as long as possible right now, because quite generally, it, it could give us an opportunity to attack like mad on the next climb. Col de Fleury, last kilometer today, second cat, 4.4 kilometers of climbing left. And while I don't care about the stage, it seems like Simon Yates is going to get that one. Full Sang moving towards the front of the group. What's his plan? I'm trying to hang on as much as possible for now. And I'm going to try and launch an attack myself in a good kilometer. I've got the energy for it. I'm going to absolutely hammer it if I can. Come on, 3.5. Oh, what a pace. Is that Thomas again doing it for, uh, for Ben Null? Could be. Godu in second wheel. And Ciccone up there as well. Gonna try and use a bit of my blue gel already. While I'm moving to the front. It's really not steep, is it? This section. Oh god, it's 3%. Oh, this this is good. The tempo stopped a bit. I'm going for a bit of a move. But it looks like Molima's closing me down. God damn it, Bauke. Why are you doing this? Two kilometers towards the top. I'm gonna do it. Just gonna wing it. There we go. Come on, come on. Blue gel. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Red gel. There in my wheel. This is not what I was hoping for, but it is the only thing I can do, and it's not ideal at all. I'm going to try and go again right now. 700 meters to go. Come on. Just try and keep going towards the top. 500 meters, 16 people. 15 seconds, 16 seconds. Now, descend of my life. Gonna go into super tuck right now. That's still allowed in this game apparently, but the gradient is not high enough, so it's utterly useless. Come on, come on, come on. 
Super duck right now. Let's not ruin this corner. Oh, good, 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 good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Descend towards the entire finish here. Let's try and catch this man, Higita. Come on, Higita, let's do it together. We've got 15 seconds. Red section right here. Higita, get out of my way, Higita! You're like a motorbike. And I'm gonna have to slow down here and hammer it again. 17 seconds. Don't look at the time, Benji. You're ruining your entire descent right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was a slip. But I think I'm fine. This is going better than I expected. Man can descend. It's absolutely mad. 4%, I gotta hammer it again. We've got 2.5k to go. Come on. Into that corner. Around it. And keep pushing, keep pushing. We don't have too much blue, but that corner was terrible. Last kilometer, come on, Evenepoel. Come on, come on, come on, go for yellow. Go for yellow. Last section is uphill. No, we don't have energy. Come on, Remco, 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 Remco. Oh, we're not gonna get yellow, but I'm not sure actually. There we go. Let's take a look. Full Sang is still in the yellow jersey, okay. But I think the time between him and me has reduced, which is entirely what we're hoping for. We were already hoping to just stay on the same time, looking at the time trial later on in the week. But, whew, good result. We're now five seconds down on full sign in GC, which is beautiful. Perfect. Closing in towards that final time trial and then, bam, we're going to take it over. And we're going to win this Tour de France. I can feel it. Evenepoel is ready. I am ready. Let's take a look at the KOM classifications. Looks like we're basically safe on that already. We're going to win KOM in this Tour de France, although I don't particularly care about it. Green jersey. Oh, that's a huge gap. 80 points. I can't get that back, I think. I need to win both the next stage and the last stage without Trenton getting points, which is basically impossible. Third as well with Evenepoel. Seems to be moving up two spots today, so that is a good thing. When it comes to the youth classification, it's uh, pretty much a done deal. I don't think Bernal's going to pass us anymore. Pogacar's swimming in 41 minutes behind, so that's a bunch. And Team N1, being Ineos, is a team classification winner, but I don't care. Anyway, that's about it for today's episode. We're going to lean in towards the uh, flatter stage next time. We're going to try and win it with Bennett, even though it's got quite a few hills in the last half of the stage. But I think we should be fine if we play it right. That descent towards the line is a bit treacherous though. So I just don't know what to expect for this one. Anyway, thanks for watching this series. I know it's been an absolute ride of 10 months so far. But at least we're finishing it. So I guess that's a positive we can take away from this story. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time for stage 19. Goodbye.